Hello, welcome to 3D Printonics. This tutorial covers installation process of your new all metal hot end onto your Prusa i3. This all metal hot end is superior to any other metal hot ends present today in the market. It can print almost any material including wood and nylon and can reach up to 300 degrees Celsius. Three D Printonics will dispatch a completely assembled hot end like this one. We will fix the heater cartridge into heater block, thermistor into the heater block, fan will be mounted on fan shroud around the aluminium heat sink. But before installing this onto your printer, you must heat it up to 290 degrees Celsius and tighten this brass nozzle. If you forget to do this step. The filament may leak out of the nozzle. Remember, it just needs a little torque to turn. Don't put lot of pressure to tighten it as it can lead to damage of the nozzle or hot end itself. The hot end has 6 wires in total. These thick red wires are for the heater cartridge of the hot end. These red and black thin wires are for the thermistor. And one more pair of red and black thin wires are for extruder fan. Please note the extruder fan must be connected directly to the 12 volts power supply coming out from the SMPS because the extruder fan must be on whenever the printer is on. These are the tools required to install the hot end onto the printer. A plier to hold hot end, screwdriver to connect wires to ramps, hex key to fit hot end to extruder assembly, wire stripper, and a small plier. Let's connect the wires to ramps board. First connect these two red wires of hot end heater cartridge to D10 connector of your ramps board. Now connect the thermistor wires to T0. Next, connect your extruder fan directly to 12 volt supply from SMPS. Don't connect it to fan connector of ramps or D9. It is to connect the printer fan which is used to cool the PLA prints. Please do not get confused between printer fan and extruder fan. The fan mounted on the hot end is extruder fan and should always be connected directly to 12 volts power supply coming from the SMPS. This step is very important, please do not skip this. Using repeater host or printer face, heat the extruder hot end to 290 degrees Celsius. Wait until the nozzle reaches to 290 degrees. Then you need to do a final tightening of the nozzle against the heat break to form a good seal that prevents any plastic leaking. Use a plier to hold the heater block and using another small plier, tight the brass nozzle only a bit. Remember the amount of torque required to turn is very less. Do not apply more pressure while tightening. Follow these steps to install the hot end onto the extruder assembly. If you are upgrading from J head hot end, first remove the filament from the hot end, then remove the extruder assembly from the X carriage, and then remove your old J head hot end. Now take your new all metal hot end and slide it in the grooves of the extruder assembly. The fan and the wires should be on the left hand side. Use the hex key to tighten the screws around the hot end. Do not fully tighten it as of now. Switch on the lights in the room you are working and look into the hole above the extruder body from where the filament goes in. Align the hot end until you see the light through the nozzle hole. 
Now tighten the hot end fully using hex key. As you can see here, the hot end is installed onto the assembly. Make sure all wires come out from one side and connect both the fans to 12 volt supply from SMPS. These two fans should be on whenever the hot end is on. Apart from this heater block, all other parts of hot end must be cool all the times. One more thing which you have to modify is the position of your Z stop. As you can see here, the height of your new all metal hot end is around 10 mm more than your old J head hot end. So alter the position of your Z stop accordingly and calibrate your Z steps. Now open Arduino IDE, open marlin.ino, go to configuration.h, go down to line number 92, make sure you have entered 5 here, 5 is a 100k ATC Semitech thermistor which is used in your all metal hot end. Now go down to line number 113. Change this 275 to 300. Now save and upload this onto your Arduino board. Now let's do the PID auto tuning. For this, go to repeat your host. Then go to manual control. Type this G code M303E0S200C8 and click send. Now look at the log. As you can see PID auto tuning has begun. Wait for few minutes until the tuning is finished. Now PID auto tuning is finished. Enter this KP, KI and KD values into the Marlin firmware. To do this Go to Arduino IDE, open Marlin, go to configuration.h, go to this line number 149 and enter new KP, KI and KD values you got in repeat your host. Now save and upload this firmware to Arduino board. That's it. Now your all metal hot end is ready to print. Let's print a test object. We have added an object called as T light downloaded from Thingiverse. To start printing with your all metal hot end, go to slicer settings and modify these parameters accordingly. First go to printer settings. Then select extruder 1. Now change nozzle diameter to 0.4 or whichever nozzle you are using. Now go to filament settings and change layer temperatures. If you are upgrading from J head hot end, then add 10 degrees to your usual extruder temperatures for both first layer and other layers. Now in print settings, give appropriate settings for the test object you are printing. Save and close the slicer settings. Then slice and print your first object.